Welcome back. Time now 1241. Let's talk finances. This hurricane season has been so rough, especially for the Gulf Coast In just southwest Louisiana. There were two storms back to back within weeks of each other, causing millions of dollars in damage. But there is some relief if you were affected by a hurricane. CPA Kimberly Washington joins us live from her home with more on how you can claim a hurricane loss on your tax return. Good to see you, Kim. Let's start with the first question here. What is a deductible casualty loss for hurricanes? So for an individual who was impacted by the hurricanes, they can actually take a loss on a tax return. This is for a storm or hurricane or anything that happens unexpectedly. Keep in mind that the Internal Revenue Service will allow that loss for the lesser of the cost that you put into that property or the decline in fair market value. But now's the time to really look at this. Kim, what if a person receives insurance or other reimbursements for their loss? What can they do there? So if a person does have insurance, the first thing you want to do is you want to file a claim with your insurance company. Keep in mind that if you don't take those steps, the Internal Revenue Service could disallow your loss. So if you do receive any funding from insurance or any other type of reimbursement, such as FEMA, you do have to reduce the loss before you take it as a deduction on your tax return. What steps can a person take to make sure the loss is deducted correctly on the tax return? You want to first determine whether or not it's a federal declared disaster. This makes a huge difference when it, as it relates to taking that deduction on a tax return. The second thing you want to do is go to the Internal Revenue Service website. They have a great publication, Publication 584. It's a workbook that helps you to go through maybe your kitchen, your um, outside, whatever the case may be, just the different rooms in your home. Well, you can actually list out the inventory items that you had in your home to determine what would be the value of that loss. And then last but not least, you want to download the form. It's 4864 so that you can take the loss on your tax return. And Kim, lastly, when should a person deduct the loss? Talk about that. This is a really big deal for so many people. So if it is a federal declared disaster loss, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you can take that deduction on either your past tax return from the prior year. So right now we're in 2020. You can actually go back amend your 2019 tax return and this can generate a tax refund for you right now. Or you can wait until next year to take that loss. But if you do have that option, I suggest go back and amend that tax return because that may create additional money for you right now, such as a tax refund or reduce your tax liability from the prior year. OK, CPA Kimberly Washington talking about some relief. If you were affected by hurricanes this season, hurricane season ends on November 30th. Not soon enough, Kim. Thank you.